The Book of Psalms, starting off with chapter 76. In Judah is El Elohi Ahia known. His name is great in Israel. In Salem also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. There break he the arrows of the bow, the shield and the sword, and the battle, Salah. Thou art more glorious and excellent than the mountains of prey. Thou south-hearted or spoil, they have slept their sleep, and none of the men of might have found their hands. At thy rebuke, O El Elohi, Ahia of Jacob, both the chariot and horse are cast into a deep sleep. Excuse me. Thou even, thou art to be feared, and who may stand in the sight when once thou art angry? Thou didst cause judgment to be heard from the heaven, the earth feared, and was still. When mighty God Ahia arose to judgment to save all the meek, the kind of the earth, Salah. Surely the wrath of man shall praise thee, the remainder of wrath shall thou restrain. Vowed and pay unto mighty God Ahia our El Elohi, let all that be round about him bring presents unto him that ought to be feared. He shall cut off the spirit of princes, he is terrible to the kings of the earth. Psalm 77 I cried unto El Elohi Ahai with my voice, even unto El Elohi with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble I sought mighty God Ahia. My soul ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered El Elohi Ahia and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. Salah. Thou holdest my eyes waking. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with mine own heart, and my spirit made diligent search. Will mighty God Ahia cast off forever, and will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean gone from ever? Doth his promise fail forevermore? Hath El Elohi Ahia forgotten to be gracious? Had he in his anger shut up his tender mercies? Salah. And I said, This is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of mighty God Ahia. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Thy way, O El Elohi Ahia, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a mighty God as our El Elohi Ahia? Thou art mighty God Ahia that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph, Salah. The waters saw thee, O El Elohi Ahia. The waters saw thee, they were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water the sky sent out a sound thine arrows also went abroad the voice of thy thunder was in the heaven the lightnings lightened the world the earth trembled and shook thy way is in the sea and thy path in the great waters and the footsteps are not known thou lidest thy people like a flock by the hand of moses and aaron psalm 78 Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ear to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generations to come the praises of mighty God Ahia and his strength and his wonderful works that he had done. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers, that they should make them known to their children, that the generations to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. They that might set their hope in El Elohi Ahia, and not forget the works of mighty God Ahia, our Heavenly Father, but keep his commandments, and might not be as, excuse me, and might not be as their father, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright, and whose spirit was not steadfast with El Elohi Ahia. The children of Ephraim bring armed and carrying bows turned back in the days of battle. They kept not the covenant of El Elohi Ahia and refused to walk in his laws. 
and forgot his works and his wonders that he had showed them. Marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through, and he made the waters to stand as an heap. In the daytime also he led them with a cloud, and all the night with a light of fire. He clave the rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink as out of the great depths. He brought streams also out of the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers. And they sinned yet more against him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. And they tempted mighty God Ahia in their heart by asking meat for their lust. Yea, they spake against mighty God Ahia. They said, Can Elohi Ahia furnish a table in the wilderness? Behold, he smote the rock that the waters gushed out, and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? Therefore mighty God Ahiah heard this, and was wroth, so a fire was kindled against Jacob, and an anger also came up against Israel, because they believed not in mighty God Ahiah, and trusted not in his salvation. Though he had commanded the clouds from above, and opened the doors of heaven, and had rained down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the corn of heaven. Man did eat angels' food, he sent them meat to the fool. He caused an east wind to blow in the heaven, and by his power he brought in the south wind. He rained flesh upon them as dust, and feathered fowls like as the sand of the sea, and he let it fall in the midst of their camp round about their habitations. So they did eat, and were well filled, for he gave them their own desire. They were not estranged from their lust, but while they meat was yet in their mouth, the wrath of mighty God Ahia came upon them, and slew the fattest of them, and smote down the chosen men of Israel. For all this they sinned still, and believed not for his wondrous works. Therefore their days did he consume in vanity, and their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they sought him, and they returned in inquired early after mighty god and they remember that mighty god ahia was their rock and the high god their redeemer nevertheless they did fatter him with their mouth and they lied unto him with their tongues for their heart was not right with him neither were they steadfast in his covenant but he being full of compassion forgave their iniquity and destroyed them not yea many a time turned he his anger away and did not stir up all his wrath for he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passeth away and cometh not again. How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned back and tempted mighty God Ahia and limited the Holy One of Israel. They remember not his hand nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy. How he had wrought his signs of Egypt and his wonders in the field of Zoan and he had turned their rivers into blood and their floods that they could not drink he sent diverse sorts of flies among them which devoured them and frogs which devoured them he gave also their increase unto the caterpillar and their labor unto the locusts he destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost he gave up their cattle also to the hail and their flocks to hot thunderbolts he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. He made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence, and smote all the firstborns in Egypt, the chief of their strength, in the tabernacles of Ham, but made his own people to go forth like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely, so that they feared not, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies, and he brought them to the border of his sanctuary, even to the mountain which his right hand had purchased. He cast out the heathen also before them, and divided them an inheritance by the line, and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. Yet they tempted and provoked the Most High God, Ahiah, and kept not his testimonies, but turned back and dealt unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow. For they provoked him to anger with their high places and moved him to jealousy with their graven images. When El Elohi Ahiah heard this, he was robbed and greatly abhorred Israel, so that, the, so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent which he placed among men. 
and delivered his strength into captivity and his glory into the enemy's hand. He gave the people over into the sword and was wroth with his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men and their maidens were not given to marriage. Their priests fell by the sword and their widows made no lamentation. Then mighty God Ahia awaked as one out of sleep and like a mighty man that shouted by reason of wine and he smote his enemies in the hinder parts he put them to perpetual reproach moreover he refused the tabernacle of joseph and chose not the tribe of ephraim but chose the tribe of judah the mount zion which he loved and he built his sanctuary like high palaces like the earth which he had established forever he chose david also his servant and took him from the sheepfolds from following the ewes great with young, he brought him to feed Jacob, his people, and Israel, his inheritance. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Psalm 79 O mighty God Ahia, the heathen are come into thine inheritance. Thy holy temple have they defiled, they have laid Jerusalem on heaps. The dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven, the flesh of thy saints unto the beasts of the earth. The, their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We are become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, O mighty God of higher, will thou be angry forever? Shall thy jealousy burn like fire? Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen that have not known thee, and upon the kingdoms that have not called unto upon thy name, Ahia. For they have devoured Jacob, and laid waste his dwelling place. O remember not against us former iniquities. Let thy tender mercy speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O El Elohi, mighty God, Ahia, of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us, and purge away our sins, for thy name's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging of the blood of thy servant which is shed. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power. Preserve thou those that are appointed to die. And render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach wherewith they have reproached the almighty god ahia so we thy people and sheep of thy pasture will give thee thanks forever we will show forth thy praise to all generations psalm 80 give ear o shepherd of israel thou that leadest joseph like a flock thou that dwellest between the cherubim shine forth before ephraim and benjamin and manasseh stir up thy strength and come and save us Turn us again, O mighty God Ahia, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O mighty God Ahia, our El Elohi of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against the prayer of thy people? Thou feedest them with the bread of tears, and givest them tears to drink in great measure. Thou makest us a strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us again, O El Elohi Ahia of hosts, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt, thou hast cast out the heathen and planted it. Thou hast prepared its room before it, and didst cause it to take deep root, and it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and the boughs thereof were like the goodly cedars. She sent out her boughs unto the sea, and her branches unto the river. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges, so that all they which pass by the way do pluck her? The boar out of the wood doth waste it, and the wild beast of the field do devour it. Return, we beseech thee, O mighty God, a higher of hosts. Look down from heaven, and behold, and visit this vine. And, thy, and the vineyard which thy right hand hath planted, and the branch that thou madest strong for thyself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man whom thou madest strong for thyself so will not we go back from thee quicken us and we will call upon thy name ahia turn us again o ahia our el elohi of hosts cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved psalm 
Psalm 81. Sing aloud unto mighty God a high our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the El Elohi of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp with a palstry. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute to for Israel and a law of the mighty God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt, where I heard a language that I understood not. I removed this shoulder from the burden, his hands were delivered from the pots. Thou callest in trouble, and I deliver thee. I answer thee in the secret place of thunder. I prove thee at the waters of Meribah, Salah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me. There shall no strange God be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange God. I am mighty God Ahia, thy El Elohi, thy mighty God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. So I gave them up unto their own hearts, lust, and they walked in their own counsels. O oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies, and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of mighty God Ahia should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. He should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat, and with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied thee. Psalm 82 Mighty God a higher standard in the congregation of the mighty, he judge it among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked Salah? Defend the poor and the fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O El Elohi Ahiah, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Psalm 83 Keep not thy silence, O El Elohi Ahiah, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O mighty God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Eden and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarites, Gabal and Haman and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Ashur also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, Salah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Caesarea, as to Jabin at the brook of Kisan, which perish at Endor. They become or became as dung shit for the earth. Make, the no, make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeba, yeah, like their prince of Zaba and as Zalamuna who said, Let us take to ourselves the house of mighty God Ahia in possession. O oh, my Elohi Ahia, make them like a wheel, as a stubble before the wind, as a fire burneth a wood, and as the flame setteth the mountains on high, on fire. Sorry. So persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek thy name, O oh, mighty God Ahia. Let them be confounded and troubled for ever, yea, let them be put to shame and perish, that men may know that thou who name alone is a higher or the most high over all the earth. Psalm eighty four How admirable are thy tabernacle, O mighty God a higher of hosts, my soul longed, yea, even fainted for the courts of thy Elohi a higher. My heart and my flesh cried out for the living, mighty God. Yea, the sparrow had found an house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars. O mighty God, a higher of hosts, my King and my mighty God, blessed are they that dwell in thy house. 
they will be still praising thee, Salah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, and whose heart or the ways of them, who's passing through the valley of Baca, make it a well, the rain also fill it the pools. They go from strength to strength, every one of them in Zion appeared before El Elohi Ahiah. O El Elohi Ahiah, our mighty God of hosts, hear my prayer, give ear, O El Elohi of Jacob's Salah. Behold, O mighty God Ahiah, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of mighty God Ahiah than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For mighty God Ahiah, our El Elohi, is a sun and shield. Ahiah will give grace and glory. No good thing will be withheld from them that wake it, that walk uprightly. O mighty God Ahiah of hosts, blessed is the man that trusted in thee. Psalm 85 Ahiah, our mighty God, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of the people. Thou hast covered all their sins, Salah. Thou hast taken away all the, thy wrath. Thou hast turned thyself from the fierceness of thine anger. Turn us, O El Elohi Ahiah, of our salvation, and cause thine anger toward us to cease. Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O mighty God Ahiah, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what El Elohi Ahiah, thy mighty God, will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints, but let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth, truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, mighty God of highest shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. Psalm 86 Bound down thine ear, O mighty God of highest, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou my mighty God, save thy servant that trusted in thee. Be merciful unto me, O mighty God Ahiah, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Ahiah, do I lift up my soul. For thou, mighty God Ahiah, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O mighty God Ahiah, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O mighty God Ahiah, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Ahiah, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and thou dost wondrous things, thou art mighty God Ahiah alone. Teach me thy way, O Ahiah, I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O mighty God Ahiah, my El Elohi, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name for evermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O El Elohi Ahiah, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O mighty God Ahiah, art my mighty God, full of compassion, and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it, and be ashamed, because thou, Ahiah, had hope upholden me, and comforted me. Bless you. Psalm 87 His foundation is in the holy mountains. A higher our mighty God loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of mighty God, Salah. I will make mention of Rabbah and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia and Tyre and Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion it shall be said, this and that man was born in her, 
and the highest himself shall establish her. Mighty God of highest shall count when he righted up the people that this man was born there, Salah. As well, the singers of the players on instruments shall be there. All my springs are in thee. Psalm 88. O Ahia, my El Elohi of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry, for my soul is full of trouble. Bless my life, draw it nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that had no strength. Free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off like thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lied hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves, Salah. Thou hast put away my acquaintances for from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. My eye mourn it by reason of affliction. Ahia, my mighty God, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Will thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee, Salah? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in that land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O mighty God, Ahia, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. Ahia, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up, while I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came around about me daily like water, they come past me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put forth from me, and my acquaintances into darkness. Psalm 89 I will sing of thy mercies of mighty God a higher forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shall thy establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. Salah. And the heavens shall praise thy wonders. O mighty God of higher, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. For whom in the heaven can be compared unto mighty God of higher? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto a higher our mighty God? Mighty God of higher is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. Mighty God of higher, our El Elohi of hosts, who is a strong mighty God, a higher like unto thee, or to thy faithfulness round about thee. Thou rulest the raging of the sea, when the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered thine enemies with thy strong arm. The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine, as for the world and the fullness thereof thou hast founded them. The north and the south thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thou hast a mighty arm, strong is thy hand, and high is thy right hand. Justice and judgment are the inhabitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O mighty God of higher, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor our horn shall be exalted. For Ahia is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our king. Then thou spakest in visions to the Holy One, and said, I have laid Help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. With whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face, and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him 
and in my name Ahiah shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, Thou art my father, my Elohi, and the rock of my salvation. Also I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep forever, forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgressions with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever in his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon and as a faithful witness in heaven. Salah. But thou hast cast off and abhorred, thou hast been wroth with thine anointed. Thou hast made void the covenant of thy servant. Thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. Thou hast broken down all his hedges. Thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast also turned the hedge of his sword and hast not made him to stand in the battle. Thou hast made his glory to cease and cast is thrown down to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened, thou hast covered him with shame. Salah. How long, O Ahiah, wilt thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Salah. Ahiah, where are thy former loving kindness which thou Swearest unto David in thy truth. Remember, Ahia, the reproach of thy servants, how I do bear in my bosom the reproach of all the mighty people. Wherewith thine enemies have reproached, O Ahia, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps of thy anointed. Blessed be Ahia forevermore. Amen and amen. Psalm 90 Ahia, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, that even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art El Elohi Ahiah. Thou turnest men to in destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight, or but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night, thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as the sleep in the morning. They are like grass which groweth up. In the morning is flourished and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thine anger and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to the, thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O mighty God, a higher how long, and let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to thy days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of mighty God Ahiah, our El Elohi, our mighty God, be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto Ahiah, my Elohi, he is my refuge and my fortress, 
my mighty God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that are walking in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made mighty God a higher, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy inhabitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thy trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, Ahiah, and I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 92 It is a good thing to give thanks unto mighty God Ahiah, and to sing praises unto his name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the palstry upon the harp with a solemn song for thou mighty god ahiah has made me glad through thy work i will triumph in the works of thy hands o ahiah how great are thy works and thy talk thy thoughts are very deep a brutish man knoweth not neither doth a fool understand this when the wicked spring as the grass and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish it is that they shall be destroyed for ever. But thou, O mighty God, Ahiah, or most high for evermore. For lo, thine enemies, O Ahiah, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My eye also shall see my desire of mine enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of mighty God Ahiah shall flourish in the courts of our El Elohi, our mighty God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. To show that mighty God Ahiah is upright, he is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Psalm 93 Ahiah our mighty God reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. Ahiah is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is established, that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thou art for from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O mighty God Ahiah, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. A higher our mighty God on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness become thine house, O mighty God, a higher forever. Psalm 94 O Ahia, my El Elohi, my mighty God, to whom vengeance belongeth. O El Elohi, Ahia, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth render a reward to the proud a high how long shall the wicked how long shall the wicked triumph how long shall they utter and speak hard things and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves thy break in pieces thy people o mighty god a high and afflict thine heritage they slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless yet they say a higher shall not see neither shall the god of jacob regard it understand you brutish among the people, and you fools, when will ye be wise? He that planted the ear shall not hear, he that formed the eye shall he not see, he that chastiseth the heathen shall not he correct, he that teacheth man knowledge shall not he know. Mighty God, I know the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. 
Blessed is the man whom thou chastest, O mighty God of higher, and teachest him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity unto the pit he dig for the wicked. For mighty God of higher will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return into righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless mighty God of high had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, thy mercy, O mighty God of high, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame it mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous, and condemn the innocent blood. But mighty God of high is my defense, and my El Elohi, mighty God, is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah, a higher, our mighty God, shall cut them off. Psalm 95 O come, let us sing unto mighty God of higher. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For mighty God of higher is a great El Elohim, mighty God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth, the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down, let us kneel before mighty God of higher, our Maker. For he is our mighty God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if we will hear his voice, hard not your heart as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the, in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said it is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. And to whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Psalm 96 O sing unto mighty God higher a new song. Sing unto higher all the earth. Sing unto mighty God higher. bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For mighty God higher is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but mighty God higher made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto mighty God of higher, O ye kindreds of the people. Give unto mighty God of higher glory and strength. Give unto mighty God of higher the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship a higher in the beauty of his holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that a higher reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heathen rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful, and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Before mighty God a higher, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness, and the people with truth. Psalm 97 higher our mighty God reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him, righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire go before him and burn up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world, the earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of mighty God Ahia, at the presence of Ahia of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, ye all you gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O mighty God Ahia. For thou, Ahia, our mighty God, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted for above all gods. You that love mighty God Ahia hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart.
Rejoice in Ahia, you righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Psalm 98 O sing unto Ahia a new song, for he had done marvelous things. He, His right hand and his holy arm had gotten him the victory. Ahia, our mighty God, had made known his salvation, his righteousness, had he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our El Elohi, our mighty God. Make a joyful noise unto mighty God Ahia, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto Ahia with the harp, with the harp and the voice of psalm. With trumpets and sound of cornet, make a joyful noise before Ahia the king. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together. Before Ahia our mighty God, for he cometh to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Psalm 99 Ahia our mighty God reigneth. Let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubim. Let the earth be moved. A higher our mighty God is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's strength also loveth judgment. Thou dost establish equity. Thou executest judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt ye, mighty God, a higher our El Elohi, our mighty God, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among them that call upon his name. They call upon Ahia, and he answered them. He spake unto them in the cloudy pillar. They kept his testimonies and the ordinance that he gave them. Thou answered them, O mighty God Ahia, our El Elohi. Thou wast a mighty God that forgavest them. Thou, that thou tookest vengeance of their inventions. Exalt mighty God Ahia our El Elohi and worship at his holy hill, for Ahia our mighty God is holy. Psalm 100 Make a joyful noise unto mighty God Ahia all you lands. Serve Ahia our mighty God with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know you that mighty God Ahia he is El Elohi, mighty God? It is he that had made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praises. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For mighty God Ahia is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endure to all generations. We're going to stop at that. Thank you for listening.